Today's project is going to be turning this old Frigidaire into a worm bed. This freezer took a dump on me probably about a year or so ago. Just been taking up room in the uh, in the building, so we're going to turn it into a a worm bed. So stick around. This should be interesting. So with this freezer, we got this back plate to take out, so we can see what's going on in here and. If y'all wanted to know what kind of freezer this is, right there it is. So, well, we're gonna take this back plate out, see what's behind it, and figure out what we're gonna put a floor drain in. I'm gonna put a drain in this thing. You might not need it, but it's one of them things you'd rather have than and not need it than need it and not have it. So let's take this plate out and see what's going on. So there's what we got in the back of it. All this stuff's gonna have to come out because we want to get the back of it just as flat as we can. So let's see what we need to get all this out. All right, so we took all this stuff out and I think the best place for the drain plug is gonna be here in the bottom. There was a fan here that circulated air up to the top and then, you know, cold air falls. So we're gonna put the uh, drain plug right in there. What I've got is a vertical bit we're going to try drilling it out. We want that pipe to fit in there as tight as we can get it. So we're going to play around with that and see just how tight we can make that hole but still get the pipe through it. You can see where we got the hole poked out just a little bit. I think that's going to be about her right there. So let's get the pipe and try it and see what's going on. Alright, so here's our pipe. It's kind of tight, but that's fine. I got a feeding that I'm going to put here and see what we can do with it. So here's what we got. I got this fitting here. It's got an extension on it and then it's got the uh, half inch or three quarter threads on it. And then you can reduce it down to a half inch piece of pipe. So we're going to get this and see if we can get it to fit into the hole. So what I was explaining right here was that I was going to take a three quarter lock nut and put on here and tighten it down on the inside. But what originally or what ended up happening was that fitting was not uh, long enough to be able to do that. So what I ended up doing was just putting caulk on it. And using the caulk as a way to uh, poke the fitting in. But that will be explained later on down into the video. I'm going to have to get my bigger hole saw to get through the middle. So what I end up doing is just wallowing the hole out just a little bit. Because it just needed just a little bit more. So I wallowed it out. And if you'll see on the inside here. That piece ain't quite long enough to reach all the way in. So what I'm going to do is pull it out. Put some caulk on the inside of that and uh, seal it up real good and uh, just let it be like that because uh, it's fitting flush up against the thing and I think that'll be a whole lot better anyway so let's get this caulked up and move on all right so here's our finished product it don't look the best in the world but we got it together all that is is two two befores one of them's cut down a little bit more than the other one I got them drilled or screwed straight to the uh, back of the uh, freezer and then I got a, like a piece of copper wire holding it down as a wire clamp because I don't have one in my hand and I just come on out and put the uh, ball valve on it and finish that up so what we're going to do now is move it over here to its uh where it's going to stay at and we'll pick it up from there so I was trying to figure out what to do with this right here and this is going to be the solution this is a piece of plastic that I got from somewhere I don't even remember I cut it to size and I'm just going to put down a layer of silicon. If 
around this. Put this plate on top of it. And that should keep that pretty water tight. I'll put that brick on it for the time being until that sets up. So what I've got is my drain hole here. In case I get too much moisture in here. I'm going to come through and fill this up with rocks. And uh, then I'm going to put something on top of the rocks. And then I'm going to fill it full of my, uh, my medium that I'm going to use for raising my worms. I got some peat moss, some black cow. I got some old uh, raised beds over here. I'm going to pull some dirt out of it. It's got a... Uh, uh, pot and soil in it so all the furniture or the fertilizer and stuff's been leached out of it because them uh, beds have been set up for probably at least five years now so we're gonna do that so we're gonna let that set up I'm gonna get my rocks and pour in here and go from there what we're gonna do is add our rocks in What I got is drainage rocks from uh, Lowe's. I think they were around four bucks a bag. I got four bags. I don't think I'm going to need it, but I got it anyway. I know. I got my little man out here with me now. All right, so what I got here is landscaping fiber. Uh, this is some of the little bit better landscaping fabric. All I'm gonna do is cut it with my knife. My poor door knife. And we're gonna fit it in here. All I did was uh, loose fit it. Can't really see what I got going on, can you? There we go. What I did was just loose fit it in here. Of course, there's going to be some worms that's going to get down to you. Or what have you, but if that's the worst thing that happens in this project, we'll be all right. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix my pot and soil my cow manure and my other stuff that I got over there, my like uh, old topsoil, I'm gonna mix it together and put it in here and uh, get it to the consistency that I wanted as far as moisture wise. All right, so this is some of the peat moss from in the garden on my little raised beds. We're gonna wet that down just a little bit. I want this, uh, I'm gonna do enough of this stuff to put maybe down about maybe four inches in that uh, refrigerator or freezer just to start with. I don't want to put too much in there to begin with because I won't be able to expand it just a little bit as the worms do their thing. So what I got next is some black cow. This is the, the cheap version of it. I want to put that whole entire bag in there. Looks like I'm going to need a bigger container. And I got my peat moss too. This is the stuff that I got. Peat moss. It's called a uh, bag my peat moss. I'm going to add a little bit of this to it too. Now this stuff is really dry. So it's going to really take 
pretty good amount of moisture to get it where it needs to be at. And I'll probably mix a little bit of this up after I mix the big part of it up. We're going to wet this down good. And since we're just about running over the container, I'm going to have to mix these with the hands. As you can see, it's still really, really dry. I'm going to break these roots and stuff up. Now what I also did off camera was I took uh, some uh, cardboard and threw it in the bottom of that uh, freezer to give it a little extra something on the bottom and also the worms are supposed, supposed to like to uh, lay eggs in between the, uh, the flutes on that cardboard. Now to say you don't want this stuff super wet, you won't be able to squeeze a little bit of water out of a handful of it. I bet there's already a few worms in this because them raised beds has been established for a while. I got some uh, weed cloth up under them, but it's been so long. I bet the uh, that weed cloth is gone. So there might already be some worms in this. I've also got some ground up uh, paper that I'm going to put in this. It come out of my paper shredder. I haven't got very much of that. I ain't had time to, to grind up anymore. There's still going to be some dry pockets in this. Because mixing it this way is not the most efficient way of doing something. But you kind of have to work with what you got. I can feel the water gushing in that a little bit. So I'm going to say that's good for now. So let's uh, move on over here and try to get it in the freezer. Now as you can see, I've got some cardboard in there. Got the cardboard here, and right there's the uh, the paper. I don't know if we're supposed to leave these uh, labels on it or not. I don't see where they will hurt. All I'm doing is filling the bucket up so I don't have to pick this heavy uh, soil up. I'm going to level that little bit out. Spray my hands off. Put some paper in here. Now pretty much all this is is just uh, junk mail. Less the envelopes. That piece didn't get cut up very well. Got a good thin layer of that and I'm going to put the rest of that mulch on top of that.
Then I'm gonna come over it with a thin layer of that peat moss. There we go. Wet that down a little bit. And call it a day. I haven't ordered my worms yet. I got a guy that's pretty close to me that I've called or I emailed and tried to get up with about getting worms and I hadn't heard anything back from him. So I'm gonna try to get them actually out of the state of North Carolina. Just try to support my local guys. And uh, if I don't hear from him by this afternoon or tonight, I'm probably gonna go ahead and order them and hopefully they'll be in maybe Wednesday or Thursday of this week. And uh, we'll do a video of putting them in here. But that's the starting of my worm bed. This uh, it's that deep. So what is that? About four inches, maybe three and a half, three and a half inches or so. That's how deep it is right now. I think that's plenty for the worms to start in. Uh, but that's that's it. All y'all guys that's got these one bed set up, if you see something like that wrong, just let me know what it is. Uh, like I said, this is my first adventure with worms. I'm a beekeeper. I've got a beekeeping channel. And uh, I'm used to making beekeeping videos, not earthworm videos. So we're going to order red wigglers because they're good for uh, for the composting aspect of, uh, of the bees. I'm going to start some raised beds this uh, year this coming year and I'm going to make some uh, raised beds and stuff those videos will be coming up so uh, if you're not a subscriber to the channel hit the subscribe button hit the like button if you got any questions or comments just leave them in the description below and as always we'll see you on the next one